So, you know, wherever you are, you know, in your journey, uh, whether you're at a high place or you're at a low place, um, whatever you dream for the future, it's going to work out. Welcome. Uh, today, I'm going to start off uh, as Papa Ben. Um, you know, that's uh, at this point in my life, I've got a uh, son in his 20s. I've got a daughter who's getting ready to go to college. You know, so I'm, I'm, more, I'm, I'm more and more recognizing that I'm as much a dad to my doctors, um, certainly my family. I don't have any grandkids yet, but I certainly could. Um, and uh, that there's, a, there's coming from a place of dad. And then sometimes you're coming in place you know, as your, your consultant or you're a coach or you're a therapist. Um, at this point, I'm going to start this off as dad. You know, in any given day or week, there, there's a lot of things to be concerned about, especially, you know, things are at, at a level of instability right now that when I look at my kids, I think, you know, how, how are they dealing with this? You know, I, I grew up and whether it's true or not, you just sort of assume that there's a certain amount of foundation that's in place that is rock that won't crack. You know, what, you know the assumption was my parents' marriage would remain. Um, the friends I had, the assumption was their families were going to stay intact. You know, you, you know, America just kept going on like it was. Um, you know, things weren't going to crash at any time soon. Uh, there wasn't going to be a point where we couldn't go back to school or I wasn't allowed in a public place unless, you know, I got a vaccination or we'd be back to wearing a mask or locked back inside. You know, there's so much instability. But as a leader, this is speaking to you right now, as a chiropractor, as a parent, the thing we have to go back to, and this is what's so great about those that are watching this webinar, is that you know, we, we have a rock that will not fail. We have a high place uh, we can go to. We have, we have a mountain that we can rely on in God and his son, Christ Jesus, that uh, we can always say it's going to work out. I was talking to my 26 year old and you know he's, he's going through some transition right now and he's actually moving from, uh, from Colorado to Arizona, which is, you know, he's had made a couple of really big moves uh, where, you know, he'd always, you know, obviously until recently had lived here with us at home and then, you know, right sort of around the corner at college at Florida State, and then all of a sudden big move to Colorado, another big move to Arizona. So, you know, at any age, you'd feel a little off kilter. Again, that foundation suddenly feels like it's shaking. And then there's some transitions at work and some instability there. And so the one thing that I can say confidently, and he, he questioned it because I said, here's what I guarantee. And he was looking for some fatherly advice. Like, here's what I can absolutely guarantee. It's going to work out. He's like, well, how can you guarantee that? He goes, all right, you mean you're praying for it? He's like, because I'll start praying for that too, that it works. I'm like, no, no, I'm guaranteeing it. Like, this is a promise you have because we have a, a rock that will not fail. We have a, a savior that will not leave us or forsake us. We have a Holy Spirit that's with us forever. We've got a friend closer than a brother. Uh, we've been told that God has zero harmful plans, but has full intention of not harming us, of giving us hope and a future. We've been told that we have victory in Christ Jesus, that we're more than a conqueror. You know, what I would see being more than a conqueror as would be that there are events throughout your life where you lose, you know, so we don't win them all. Uh, so, however, um, even though we've lost, we still will end up eventually winning. So we're more than a conqueror, meaning we don't win them all, but we ultimately overcome and we are victorious. We are more than a conqueror. We're not about any one slip or, or fall or setback. Uh, we overcome and conquer. Uh, the Bible tells us that we're mighty warriors, that even in, a, in a, our lowest places, like when he found Gideon, uh, making breakfast in a wine press, that he says, even though you're there hiding from the enemy, that you're actually a mighty warrior, that I've chosen you to go do great things. Now, as Gideon said, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a, from a 
sort of a mediocre family, and then I'm the lowest member of the family. So how can you call me a mighty warrior? Well, the simple answer is, is because I've called you to lead and be a mighty warrior. You're, you're now with God and you have his armies behind you so that you now have no fear or concern over the future, you win in the end. And, and so we have that. And so we want to be that stability. You know, something I just say a lot is it's going to work out. It will work out in the end. These things have a way of working themselves out. And the reason I can say that confidently is because of my father. I know he's the captain. He's the alpha and the omega. He's in charge. He's the beginning and the end. So in the end, it all works out. So, you know, wherever you are, you know, in your journey, uh, whether you're at a high place or you're at a low place, um, whatever you dream for the future, it's going to work out.